ever told Hello my people of the world, my name is Reese Tripp and we're back with Life is Strange. Episode 4, Part 2. Okay. And so... I don't know what's happening now, but I'm gonna take a photo. That's cool, right? Because honestly, I don't know. I'm examining stuff, apparently. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Okay. Examine the board. Okay. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or. Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. Yep. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. Oh my god. I can't abuse this level of my- Okay, bye. I'm assuming I have to go downstairs for stuff. Let's see who's around here. TV. Uh, it's just broadcasting the thing. Warren! Okay, that was a lot that just happened there. I was just able. Okay, so the. Okay. Okay. Don't know. Okay. My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Max the time bandit strikes again. Yeah. It's David. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I want to talk to him, actually. Because we don't get to really talk to him that Anything much. Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. Oh, you won. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me. That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in our cave. <coughs> what do you okay. mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. So, D 
Do you and Nathan Prescott... That little shit-ass Nathan Prescott is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. Hmm. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick. I'm off duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. <laughs> Why say that? Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me, since only I know what's happening. Of course, thanks to Mrs. Grant and her hippie anti-surveillance petition, I hope everybody feels safer like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. Okay. Hey, Max, I do appreciate you standing up for me. Okay, so, uh... Locker. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Oh crap, I'm not gonna know any of these. Uh, let's try a note. For once I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Right, I need to find a key. Take the Excuse keys. me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn no. thing. Come on, Max. Sorry. Find this a way to get David out of his cave. So, no, sure is hard to work in private with somebody watching you. Uh, how are we gonna get his attention? Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Hey, Missy. You do know I can see you snooping around. Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Should I have signed? <laughs> David really did protect Chloe. I'm glad I stuck up for him. Yay. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. <laughs> Gotcha. Now can't I just rewind to the point where everything's fixed? Keys. <coughs> I am the key master. Yeah, sounds about right. Coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Oh my God. Huh. 
you got the license plate. Score. Back to Chloe now. Open. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yeah. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Yes, you should be. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Okay. Oh no, I forgot how to open doors. Oh no, wait, there it is. Hi. <laughs> Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. Yay. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. Hey. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. Yeah. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Just leave. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Just be like, hi, bye. Just, just completely leave afterwards. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Yeah, because she wasn't sick. Let's see what happens if I sit down. 
It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. That's all good and all, but... Mm-hmm. Alright, let's speak. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Kate. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That Damn was it. so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, a, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even Good. angels need angels, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so... That might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. <laughs> I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Uh... Prescott family? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find okay. Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Yep. Thanks again for visiting me, Max. Okay, well, if you're okay, I'm gonna go now. I must go, my people need me. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Yep. Uh, them playing rugby again. That's what, that's what we call it in the UK. I know Americans call it American football, but in the UK it's called rugby. Hey Max, how you doing? Oh, hi Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe, why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. Yep. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just... Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. Okay. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. 
And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have <laughs> some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Gross! <laughs> you are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Okay. That makes sense. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Okay, find out some stuff on That's Nathan. That's so ironic then. that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Buck. How are you? I'm here as usual. <coughs> By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Uh, whales. I, I don't can't know. get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Well, Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brock. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? What? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Drone. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? Oh my god. I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Good. Nathan is not around. No, I'm gonna go, go all go the way back. Call. And see if I can add some more context and stuff. Oh, ironic. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. Let's see if I can get something else done with the Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Ask Warren. I Come on, bro. Uh, Warren's not. Okay, it's the I same have stuff. To go. Talk later, Brooke. Maybe I should have asked Warren to go. Oh my god. Just open that again. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. <laughs> way too much shit going on, man. Try going right, to let's... Blackwell. Alright, let's go. Insane. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. <laughs> now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. So, uh, okay.
Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. So, room 111 is the magic number. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thumbs up, outro.